India's trade unions and farmers groups will conduct a major protest on August 9th. The protest is being held on the 78th anniversary of the Quit India Day. On this day in 1942, a major movement was organized against British colonial rule in India. This year, the trade unions and farmers groups will be observing Save India Day. The protesters will hold peaceful demonstrations and court voluntary arrest. The protest is being held as the right-wing Narendra Modi government has used the COVID-19 lockdown to enact many anti-worker policies. In the past few months, working hours have been extended, labour laws have been weakened and the government has indicated plans to privatise many state-owned companies. The agriculture sector has also been severely affected. Some of the key demands include No to privatisation of state-owned companies and services No increase in work hours from 8 to 12 no ordinances or executive orders changing laws on essential commodities, farm trade, electricity and labour. Taxing the super rich and recovering the dues from willful defaulters. 200 days of work under India's Rural Employment Guarantee Scheme at 600 rupees a day, that's US dollars 8. And enacting and implementing an Urban Employment Guarantee Program. On 9th August, the anniversary of the Quit India Movement, workers, peasants, and the oppressed in India are uniting in a massive protest against the BJP government led by Narendra Modi. As the COVID-19 pandemic struck the world, masses in India were already reeling under an acute agrarian crisis, economic recession, unemployment and poverty. The lockdown was used as an opportunity by the ruling classes to clamp down on democratic rights to snatch away the hard-won rights of the working class and to facilitate corporate loot. While millions suffered huge losses in incomes and lost their jobs and hunger stalked the nooks and corners of the country, the ruling classes were more interested in facilitating corporate profiteering. Against this insensitive approach, the central trade unions the organizations of the farmers, Akhil Bharti Kisan Sangar's Coordination Committee, a unity of more than 250 organizations of farmers, and the Bhumi Adhikar Andolan have come together for a united protest on 9th August with the slogan, Save India. India is not for sale. Stop corporate loot. Ahead of the countrywide protests, thousands of workers of state-run welfare schemes joined a two-day strike call by major trade unions on August 7th and August 8th. The protests on August 9th will bring together a host of trade unions across the political spectrum and farmers' organizations, showcasing the unity of workers and farmers against the Modi government's anti-people policies. India's working class is yet again standing up to the government's right-wing agenda. Some of the unions and organizations participating are the CITU, the AITUC, the AICCTU, the AIUTUC, the INTUC, the UTUC, the AIKS and the AIAWU. Yeah, 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 yeah.